often that people can turn up 43 new animals new to science. Nobody knows anything about them. During the war, my group to be called up wasn't given a, a, a rifle and a tin top hat. They gave me a pair of boots with steel toes <laughs> and an overall. And they sent me down the mine because they said they wanted more important to get coal to produce steel and work at the factories. After I was demobilised uh, at the end of the war, I went to University College London and I spent three years there studying um, uh, zoology. When I passed my exams, I was appointed as a lecturer in London University and went out to Nigeria. Now, you can't think of a better place as a lecturer in zoology. All the wonderful animals. I retired from lecturing in 1986. The things that I, I, I like to work on are called copepods. Copis just means a, a paddle and pod means a foot. So copepods are, are little animals with paddle feet and they swim about paddle feet. The way I catch them is to use a bottle of soda water or, or, or lemonade. I take a bucket, put a little bit of seawater in, a bottle of lemonade and put the seaweed in and shake it. These little animals, these copepods, are sensitive to the carbon dioxide in the, the soda water. And that sends them into a relaxated state, sort of as if they are anaesthetised. So they all fall off the seaweed, you shake the seaweed, and there they all are in the bottom of the, bottom of the bucket. And I've collected 30 new species from New South Wales, another 12 I went over and worked in Japan and uh, a couple in, in, the, in Scotland. So what, 43 new species. Yeah. It's not often that people can turn up 43 new animals new to science. Nobody knows anything about them. But I've spent now about 36 years studying them. So I know quite a lot about them. And I'm writing a book about them. See, I'm still doing my research. I've never retired.